So about two years ago, uh, we discovered a need that we ourselves couldn't really find a, a great solution to. Uh, we really wanted healthcare professionals to use social media to communicate. And you see, the problem is that social media, and especially Twitter, can be very uh, complicated and overwhelming, especially for a new user. So we decided to create a solution ourselves. So we made a platform that would do three things. It would let us know uh, where, where healthcare conversations are taking place, uh, what topics are being discussed, and who is part of the discussion. And in this uh, tool we created, we, we started to track this conversation. We, we archived all these tweets, these conversations. And uh, over the course of two years, um, this has just grown uh, exponentially. And uh, this summer, we actually passed 100 million healthcare tweets. And uh, just looking at the graph, you can see that social media is a disrupting force in healthcare communications. And for the next couple of minutes, I'll just give you a visual journey uh, trying to look at what's behind all these tweets. And so we archive all these tweets, we categorize, analyze them over thousands of variables. Uh, here, what you're seeing now is, um, is about 2,000, let's see here. Okay, I repeat something here. Um, it's about 2,000 different conversations uh, that we're tracking. And you will see we categorize over two variables uh, on the next slide. Uh, pink, we try to, uh, is, uh, now green, I'm sorry, is uh, the patient-centric conversations, while pink is all other uh, healthcare topics. And the visual starts from, uh, October uh, 2009, two years ago, and uh, it, it will show you how this is developing month by month. And what we saw was uh, very surprising to me because we, I thought that, uh, you know, Twitter, the users of Twitter would be healthcare professionals. It's sort of like a virtual water cooler, and they connect with their peers. And I wouldn't think that patients would use Twitter very much because it's totally public. There's no privacy whatsoever. But as you can see over time, the green, more patient-centric topics that are being discussed here, they're growing. And especially the last few months, after Christmas, it's just been growing exponentially. And so to look, look into this question, why are more and more patients choosing to use Twitter to, to discuss their diseases and conditions? I will take a look at uh, one of these green topics here. So we're just going to zoom in and look at one of these uh, conversations. This is about rheumatoid arthritis. All this data you see here is from the month of August. And uh, it's, it's just now going to play it from day by day, uh, month of August. And you can, it's still just math, but you can still see the pink is nodes, so they're people, uh, the green, symbolizes a conversation, it's a direct uh, connection between two or more people. And it's still just math visualized, but you can see how organic, how real this discussion is. Um, and to give you a better view of this, I'm going to look at another community. Um, and we, we also witnessed that the type of uh, people that choose to be on Twitter are people with rare diseases. Uh, chronic illnesses or cancerous diseases. One of these are uh, a community around breast cancer. This is uh, around the hashtag called breast cancer social media. And I just want to point out, uh, this is from actually a tweet chat, which is an hour conversation uh, organized and scheduled. Here are some of the patients that are participating in a tweet chat. There are many more, but I just wanted to show you some of the patients. And here are some of the providers. These are doctors, nurses that also are participating in this open forum. And to me, this, this makes, this sort of answers my question, why would they choose to be here? Because it's such a public forum, 
these patients are what typically we can call E patients. They are empowered and they're engaged. They are empowered, just look at the, the network they tap into. The network of resources, the people, all those t different types of uh, individual they're connected with. And they're engaged, they're not only sharing their experiences, but they, they want to teach others as well. It's truly a two-way communication here. And, and, that, uh, and this is, since this is an open space, uh, it makes it accessible to everybody, which makes it discoverable, which I think is the point, because this is, to me, a two-way, it's a, it's a peer-to-peer -peer healthcare. And um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, but it visualizes the whole network and makes it accessible to people. And uh, that's the image I want to, to share you with tonight. Thank you. <laughs>